Good morning, boys and girls. Thanks for tuning in again to ECRE. We're doing our day five lesson. Let's get started with say it, spell it, say it. My turn, the word is earth. Your turn, spell it. Word. My turn, the word is here. Your turn, spell it. Word. My turn, the word is learning. Your turn. Spell it. Word. My turn, the word is surprised. Your turn. Spell it. Word. Good job, boys and girls. We're going to do some word reading now. My turn, earth, your turn. Word, 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 word. Good job, boys and girls. Okay, so our sound spelling card for today is ice cream. I'm just gonna pull it up here. There it is. Here we go. Card, sound, spelling, Good job, boys and girls. Okay. Now we're gonna do our sound spelling review. Remember, when I put my, my pointer to the side, you're gonna think about what those, the spelling, the sound is, and when I tap underneath, you're gonna say the sound. I'm gonna do the first one. My turn. I, your turn. Sound, 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 sound. Good job, boys and girls. Okay, so now we have our prefix and our suffix. And we've done these a little bit, but we're going to do them together. Remember, this is re, and it means again. This, the prefix is miss, and it means not or wrong. This prefix is un, and it means not. That's a new one. This one is pre, and it means before. Okay, so let's get to our prefix and suffix review. All right, we're going to do this together because we haven't done these in a really long time. And I know in my classroom, there's usually a, a chart pocket that I have the prefixes and suffixes that you can look at. I like to let you challenge yourself. Um, if not, you like to do it on your own, but we're gonna do this together just so that we know what they are. Okay, my turn, re, again. My turn, un, not. My turn, miss, not or badly. My turn, pre, before, my turn, chore, act or process, my turn, er, use to compare two things, my turn, shun, act of, condition of, my turn, est, 
used to compare more than two things. All right. Now we're going to do our spelling focused multisyllabic word blending. We're going to look at the vowel. You're going to say the vowel when I point to it. And then we're going to blend the sounds. Ready? So, uh, actually, this is a prefix. Prefix is re. Uh, prefix is re. Vowel is I. Sound is t. Blend it. Re tie. The word is re tie. Your turn. Sound. Sound. Blend it. Word. Sound. Sound. Blend it. Word. This is a compound word, so let's read it all together. Word. Most of these are compound words. Some of them are. Suffix. Sound. Sound. Blend it. Sound. Word. Prefix. Sound. Sound, blend it, sound, blend it, word. Good job. Prefix, prefix, sound, sound, blend it, sound, word. Prefix. Sound, blend it, word, prefix, sound, sound, blend it, sound, word, prefix, sound, sound, blend it, Word. Good job. Now we're going to read the words that we just splendid. My turn. Retie. Your turn. Word. 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 Okay, so we're going to reread the story, Bugs in Action, that we read yesterday. Now, <clears throat> usually when we have the second day of reading, I will let you guys read on your own, or sometimes we'll, we'll do partner reading, but we don't have that option right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read it to you, and you can read along with me, if you like, or just listen. Bugs in Action. It was the last day of bug school. The large class of bugs lined up in rows. Each creature felt quite happy. At last, Doc Bug got up to speak. They were graduating from bug school. Class, Doc Bug began. You are mature creatures at last. Remember I said mature means they're grown up. They're grown up bugs. You are starting life on your own. You will see plenty of action. I'm hopeful that you will be fine. Living in nature can be hard though. Hard, but fun. Ant spoke up. What is hard about living in nature? Ant asked. Doc Bug held up some pictures. See this? Doc Bug asked. An ant is small, while other animals are huge. 
Don't get stepped on. Stay in motion. That means keep moving. Next, Ladybug had a question. If I fly, will I fracture my skull? Fracture means to break. Ladybug asked, will I, Doc? No, said Doc. When you are in motion, don't get too close to trees or rocks, and then you will be safe. In other words, don't fly into anything. Look where you're going. I never knew that, Ladybug sighed. Doc Bug held up some more pictures. Stay close to small plants and grass, and that will keep your shell safe. If you fly by a garden, you can take a snack, get a snack too. Nice idea, Ladybug agreed. Ladybugs like to eat little bugs called aphids, and they grow on roses and other bushes and flowers, and they're not good. That's why ladybugs are very good. Fly spoke up next. Can you mention how I can stay safe? Fly asked. Doc Bug changed pictures yet again. Spiders like to capture flies. Spiders spin sticky webs. Flies get stuck in them, Doc Bug explained. And there's a picture of a fly getting stuck in a web. Don't go near any sticky webs, Doc Bug cried. That seems like a fine idea, Fly agreed. I never knew that living in nature was so hard. It's fun if you stay safe, Doc said. Doc Bug smiled at the class of bugs. You are the future of our bug nation. Doc, Doug, Doc Bug cried, don't forget that bugs help nature a lot. My lecture is over, now go out and live. And so they did. Okay, and that's the end of Bugs in Action. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do dictation. So take this, take a little time to go get yourself a pencil and a piece of paper. All right, I'm gonna go get my paper and my marker, and then we'll get started on dictation. Okay, now, are you ready? Have you got your paper? Have you got your pencil? Excellent, okay. So the first word is unhappy, unhappy. I don't like to see anybody unhappy. Now, our new prefix that we just learned today is in unhappy. So pick your pencil up and write down all the sounds that you hear in unhappy, unhappy. Down over here. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. Unhappy. 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 Okay. The next word is retell. Retell. I had to retell the story so that they could understand it. What's the word? Retell. Remember our prefix re tell. Write down retell.
Are you ready? Here we go. Retell. 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 Good job. Okay. The next word. The next word is untangle. I had to untangle the yarn. What's the word? The word is untangle. Pick up your pencil and write down the word untangle. That's our new pre our new preset prefix un. Are you ready? Untangle. Untangle, the word is untangle. Last word. The last word is unkind. Unkind. I hope that you won't be unkind to others. What's the word? The word is unkind. Unkind. Okay. Are you ready? Unkind. Unkind. The word is unkind. All right, that's it for now, boys and girls. I'll see you later.